Around a dozen Japanese tourists a year need psychological treatment after visiting Paris, as the reality of unfriendly locals and scruffy streets clashes with their expectations, a newspaper reported Sunday. A third of patients get better immediately, a third suffer relapses, and the rest have psychosis, Youssef Mahmoudia, a psychologist at the Hotel du Hospital, next to Notre Dame Cathedral, told the newspaper journal Du Dimanche. Already this year, Japan's embassy in Paris has had to repatriate at least four visitors. A Japanese woman, Amy, told the paper, For us, Paris is a dream city. All the French are beautiful and elegant. And then, when they arrive, the Japanese find the French character is the complete opposite of their own. This is part of an article titled, Paris Syndrome Leaves Japanese Tourists in Shock in Reuters on August 10, 2007. Paris Syndrome is a cluster of psychiatric symptoms exhibited by some individuals when visiting Paris that can be viewed as a severe form of culture shock. The term was named by a psychiatrist, Hiroaki Oda, in the 1980s. This syndrome may not be specific to the French capital. Rather, it has a very complex psychic phenomenon that has to do with disappointment, even despair, about the ways reality does not match our romantic expectation. Then how to avoid Paris syndrome? The best way is to take off the rose-tinted glasses about the place you're going to travel. This is because if you have high expectations, you will be disappointed proportionally. Remember, there is no place in the world that has only good things.